Hello, I'm Lance Zimmerman with the Cattle Facts Closing Bell. The USDA released its Farms, Land and Farms, and Livestock Operations 2011 summary last week. The report provides data on beef cow calf operations not available in the cattle inventory report released in January. In 2011, the beef industry lost 8,000 cow calf operations, a 1.1% decline. Most of the decline came from operations with less than 100 cows. Since 2001, operations with less than 50 cows have declined 9%, and operations with 50 to 99 head have shrunk 20% during that same time. Despite the declines, smaller producers still dominate the cow-calf business. Since 2007, 45% of all U.S. beef cows have been managed in herds smaller than 100 head. Herds with 100 head to 499 head represent 38% of all U.S. beef cows, while operations of 500 head or more had 16% of the beef cows during that period. Herd liquidation has affected all segments in recent years, not just smaller operations. Since 2001, producers with less than 100 head have managed about 1 million less cows each year. Inventories held by larger producers increased through the early 2000s, but declines have been steady throughout the second half of the decade. Operations with 100 to 499 head have declined nearly 1 million head since 2006, and cow numbers in herds of more than 500 head have declined since 2008. Higher calf prices and more favorable weather will lead to expansion over the next few years, but the business climate for cow-calf production has changed considerably. Higher female prices, increased capital requirements, and amplified market volatility will challenge expansion for smaller operations. Due to these obstacles, expect larger cow-calf operations to provide the first signs of beef cow herd expansion in 2012 and 2013. The fed cattle trade for the week had not developed significant test at recording time. Some light to moderate trade developed in the north with prices $1 to $2 per hundredweight lower on a dressed basis. Trade in the north was reported at $200 to $201 dressed. Packers were bidding $127 per hundredweight in the south, while asking prices remained mostly above $130. Demand remains excellent for all weight classes of feeder cattle and calves. Feeder cattle values were $1 to $4 higher, while calf prices were $3 to $6 higher, with lightweight calves priced above those levels. Slaughter cows were primarily $2 to $5 higher, while box beef prices advanced $6 to $8 higher this week, fueled by limited offerings. Ribs and loin cuts were priced the price leaders, but volume remained light on the spot market. Corn prices were mostly flat, while new crop contract prices softened as rumors circulated regarding more spring planting acres than originally anticipated. The USDA released its monthly cattle on feed report and the results were mostly consistent with pre-report estimates. Feedlot inventories on February 1st were 102% of last year. January feedlot placements came in at 98% and marketings were at 102%. Looking to next week, the trend of smaller fed cattle supplies will continue through early spring. Smaller supplies and a stronger beef complex will be supportive to fed cattle prices. Expect the market to trade near $129 per hundredweight on a live animal basis. Feedlot demand for feeder cattle continues to be relatively strong, and tighter supplies going forward remain a concern. Expect feeder cattle and calf prices to continue on their steady to higher trend next week. Higher box beef prices are expected next week as well. Growing demand for middle meats and reduced production at the packing sector continue to support the cutout. The choice cutouts expected to range from $195 to $200 per hundredweight, with select boxes trading at about $3 less. Spot corn prices will continue to test the upper end of their trading range next week. Expect steady to higher prices. Thanks for watching, and remember to visit CattleFacts.com to become a member and receive the latest market news and analysis. The beef business has never been for the faint of heart. For more than 40 years, CattleFax has led the way. We're the time-proven leader in research, analysis, and information equipped with the industry's most powerful database. Become a member at CattleFacts.com.